Although Matt has never taken top honors in any national contest, he was one of the most popular bodybuilders on the tour in the mid-80s. Consistently finishing in the top five, Matt traveled the world extensively as a guest poser for exhibitions. However, this popularity with the public had a negative effect on his contest training requirements. Well, a lot of it was can be called being too marketable for your own good in, it, in a sense. Uh, even though I did not win the championships, in most cases I was getting more guest posing offers than the person who beat me. So after the championships, with, usually within two or three weeks, I was on the road doing guest posing exhibitions all over the world and usually going on 10 month extended tours, uh, doing as many as 370 hours of flying in one year. Lucky, being lucky to train maybe twice a week uh, and trying to get ready for the next championship a year later. So by the time the, my tour would finish, sometimes it would be only two weeks out from my next competition and then trying to enter that in you know, whatever shape you could be in. So uh, it was a catch-22 to where that was, being in California, I didn't have the connections and the contacts and, and uh, the support that I have here in the Midwest to where bodybuilding was my only source of income. So I was, I was depending on that income just to uh, survive out there. So I had to work and do that uh, and uh, try to compete also. Matt originally viewed his marketability as a blessing, but the time sacrificed for guest posing soon began to take its toll. Even with all the exciting travel, he realized something was missing. Well, in 1986, uh, after competing in the Nationals in Atlanta, um, that I competed against Gary Stratum and took second place in that show. I did a very extensive tour. I went to Australia, went to Europe, and did a total that was uh, my heaviest touring year. I did 370 hours of flying that year. And I did not, I, was, I felt like, oh, I did that for four years straight. And I felt like I was becoming like a, a rock star who does an album and then a tour, an album and then a tour. And I wanted to break out of that circuit and do something else with my life. And in 1987, I was, uh, when the, co the competition came around, I was uh, so mentally and physically burned out from touring that there was no way I could uh, piece, piece what I had left together to successfully compete and that was the first time in my career that I didn't place in the top five so at that point I decided not to uh, not to do it or schedule any tours even though I did turn down approximately 18 offers to pose I wanted to do something else with my life so I would look forward to going to the gym again rather than well well I better go to the gym and work out because I have to be in Pittsburgh next weekend you know etc cetera, etc cetera. so I wanted to get that hunger back and make bodybuilding fresh again to reignite his competitive spirit, Matt felt it best to get back to his roots, to where it all began. He packed up in Los Angeles and headed home to Cincinnati and a new beginning. Well, Cincinnati is my hometown. I have three brothers and three sisters here. And I've always had uh, just more support than I could ever ask for from my family and from the town itself. And I like the people here. They're very warm, very sincere. Uh, there's things you can do on a handshake here. Uh, out in California, especially when you are a commodity in which people are going to make money, uh, they tend to treat you in that fashion. So um, you have to be very cautious with people you deal with and everything. And, and uh, here it's a slightly different way of life. It's a lot more relaxed. The Mendenhall brothers not only pump iron together, they also work for their own general contracting company. It's Mendenhall Properties Incorporated. Uh, what he does is uh, some of the inner city projects and some of the older homes right outside of the uh, downtown part of the city in Cincinnati. Uh, we buy up old homes and we rehab them and then either sell them or rent them out. And uh, he has the, the business itself and I do the business itself and I do all the subcontracting for a, a majority of it along with him. This time around, Matt has one thing on his mind, training for the upcoming Nationals. However, this time, there is a major element missing in his routine. Uh, the main thing I'm doing different is I'm not traveling. It uh, makes a big difference when you're not flying 15 hours a week. You know, going in and out of airports and traveling and adjusting to three or four different time zones every week. I'm just uh, concentrating on, you know, my, I'm, I'm working, eating, sleeping, and training. And I'm just really, I've, I've been in, as far as my mental attitude and just my outlook on the show, it's never been better. Matt is burning with confidence and there is no inhibition even after his two-year hiatus. He feels he's come back stronger than ever. 
I feel that my only competition in the 1988 national championships is myself. As long as I show up in shape, not a soul can touch me. Well, although Matt is confident about a win at the nationals, he'll have a...